Well, praise the Lord in Jesus' holy and blessed name. What a beautiful day it is to be in Jesus. Oh, amen. Amen. Brother Thomas with you here, and this is a ministry of Jesus Christ. And today, brothers and sisters, just a quick look at a verse that what a blessed and powerful verse it is when we understand the lesson of the verse. Here's the verse. It is from 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. There hath no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape, that ye may be able to bear it. Wow. There's no com temptation that is not common to man, woman, <laughs> to all of us. And he makes it very clear here that God is faithful. God is faithful. God is faithful, and he will not allow us to be tempted beyond what we can bear. Oh, really? So you're saying I didn't have to fall to that temptation? No, you didn't. And I get a lot of flack for that. I have over the years many times. And it's okay. Because that's what the verse says. That's what God says. God is faithful. God is faithful. And there's no temptation that is... It was the greatest temptation of all temptations of all time. No, no temptation that is that way. But God is faithful and will not allow us to be tempted beyond what we can bear. Ah, don't have to fall to the temptation, brothers and sisters. I know, I know, but we don't. Because why? Well, God is faithful, yes, but, but God will also provide an escape. That's the key. Did you see? Did you see the escape? Did you hear it? Did you catch it? Did you take it when you recognized it? So often, the escape is there. It's provided. But we we don't catch it, we don't see it, maybe for we just we should be looking for it. Look for the escape when the temptation comes. Look for the escape because there is one. God provides. And God is faithful and will provide the escape necessary to not fall to the temptation. If you fell to the temptation, when we fall to the temptation, we must know that God provided an escape. It was not that God was not faithful and did not provide an escape for it. We simply didn't take the escape for whatever reason. And there's lots of reasons we don't take the escape. Sometimes the temptation is something and we seize on to it. Don't even think about an escape. God forbid, but people do. Sometimes the escape isn't what we expect, and so we miss it. And we fall to the temptation, and we're like, oh God, why didn't you provide it? Yes, I did. It was there. You failed to see it. And other times, we just plain and simply reject the escape and fall to the temptation. All of these are unnecessary. Put your trust in God. Stand on the name of Jesus. Take the escape. And do not fall. Now, when we do, does that mean, oh God, now I can't, you know, God's going to hate me because I, no, forgiveness is. Hmm. But don't blame God. Wasn't his fault that you fell to the temptation. It was our own. Accept that responsibility. 
Repent. That's forgiveness of what you've fallen into, temptation that has turned into sin. Temptation is not the sin. Temptation leads to the sin. We're all tempted. We're all tempted. There isn't one of us that isn't tempted. Sorry, if you think so, because that would be wrong. We are all tempted in all kinds of ways. And most of us are tempted by the, the ways that the enemy knows is the best way to tempt us. What is our strengths? What are our weaknesses? He knows us. Our adversary knows. You think he's going to tempt you with something that is your, at your strongest point? Sometimes. It goes right at us. But other times, it's the subtlety of the serpent who knows those little things to catch us. He says, ah, I got them. No. Recognize right now that God is faithful. And God will provide an escape. And when we do fail and fall, when we do fall into the sin that comes when we accept the temptation, ask God to forgive. For he loves you and desires that your relationship be right. He will forgive. Stand you up. And hopefully you've learned a new lesson. That God is faithful and his escape is sure. And there is one. And is found in the blessed name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Oh, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' holy name. Amen.